DeepSeek broke everything. But is the new 3.1 update just as game changing? Let's see. This new DeepSeek version is very similar, but has a few key changes you need to know. First, it's the same mixture of expert type of transformer model. It has 671 billion parameters and 37 billion active. So pretty similar to DeepSeek V3. The main change is that it merges the capabilities of the V3 and the R1 thinking model. So you now have just one hybrid thinking and non-thinking model, and you can use a thinking tag to specify if you want it to think or not. It's pretty much like ChatGPT is doing with GPT-5 and its automatic routing. Compared to V3, it seems to be much better at reasoning efficiently and using tools, so basically agentic use. DeepSeek sometimes thought for a very long time. Here, they should have fixed that to make it more efficient, and in the worst case, you can use the non-thinking model. It also beats R1 on most of the benchmarks, or at least equals it. So it's definitely an upgrade there, but the biggest upgrade is with the agentic or coding-related tasks. It also has a much better long context quality, since they had a bigger budget to train the model, rather than mostly training it as efficiently as possible with synthetic data as they did with the earlier version. It's also still open source, obviously, and we will hopefully have the paper soon with even more details and the API pricing undercuts others like OpenAI's by up to two to six times the price. So it's still a pretty cheap alternative and very powerful. It's obviously pretty hype, but certainly the best open model out there yet. And even though the benchmarks are quite promising, we will have to see with real use case if it's really interesting or not. Personally, I was a bit disappointed with DeepSeek, but I'm still excited to try this new one. Also, one thing to note is that if you need reliable outputs like JSON and tool or function calling, you may want to use the non-thinking one because the thinking model only supports a search agent tool format and isn't meant for general tool calling. So that's quite a downside compared to other thinking approaches that do general tool calling very well. Let me know what you think of this new DeepSeek version and how you use it. I'm Louis-Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI and follow me for tomorrow's No BS Roundup.